Shalom and welcome to JewishTV.media. Today's topic is the four heroes of Hanukkah. I believe that there are four heroes uh, of Hanukkah that are responsible for the miracle of Hanukkah and also for the continuity of the Jewish people. The first miracle of Hanukkah, as the Gemara tells us, my Hanukkah, what was the miracle of Hanukkah? What was the story of Hanukkah all about? The story was such that when the the Jewish people came to rededicate the temple when the temple was totally um, defiled by the ancient Greeks. When they came to rededicate the temple and light the candelabra as the Jewish people lit every single day, they didn't find any pure olive oil. And they searched and they searched until they finally found one jug of pure olive oil. The first hero of Hanukkah must have been one of the Kohanim, one of the priests, who despite the fact that he saw such horrific spiritual devastation, despite the fact that many people did not know what the future would bring, so many of the young of the Jewish people uh, became Hel Hellenized. They followed the philosophy and the cultures of, of the ancient Greeks that in fact Jewish continuity was was uncertain. But there was a Kohen who believed in the future of the Jewish people and he must have buried deep in the temple a jug of olive oil in the belief and in the faith that the Jewish people would return and would come and care enough to rededicate the temple and care enough to light the symbol of Judaism, of purity and of sanctity, the candelabra and the olive oil. The second hero of Hanukkah are the, the Maccabim, the Maccabites, who were very few in number, who weren't strong like the Greeks, yet were willing to stand up for what they believed in. They had Jewish pride, and they went out to battle against the many, risking their lives with self-sacrifice, until eventually there was a great victory and a great miracle that was delivered through their hand. They had unflinching and unquestionable um, faith in God's deliverance in the Jewish people. These are the second heroes of Hanukkah. The third hero of, of Hanukkah is greater than the first and the second. In my opinion, the third great hero of Hanukkah are the homes, are the parents who brought up such people. To have such faith, to have such courage is not brought up in a vacuum. You don't find it in a vacuum. They must have suckled this faith and this self-sacrifice and this dedication and the commitment to stand up for what you believe in from their parents. Their parents infused their young minds and impressed their young hearts with such faith and such conviction that propelled them to become heroes for generations to come. The fourth hero of Hanukkah is a very interesting one. The Gemara says that if a person has only one candle to light and it's Friday night and we are obligated on the one hand to light Hanukkah candles and on the other hand we are obligated to light Shabbat candles, what takes precedence? Do we commemorate the great miracle and salvation and the continuity of our nation? Or do we commemorate and honor the Shabbat by kindling the Shabbat candles? The Gemara says we must give precedence to the Shabbat candles. We must first light the Shabbat candles. So if you only have one candle, if you can only afford one candle, you light the Shabbat candle first. Why? Because the Shabbat candles represents Shlom Bayit, peace and harmony in the home. There is no greater blessing than to be able to have peace and blessing in the home. And if you are able to achieve this, then you are in fact a great hero. People are very charitable. People show great courage in many aspects. But quite often they neglect the very basic principles of, 
of, of what belongs in the home, tranquility in their home, of understanding, of love, of commitment, and of respect from one to the other. If you're able to show this, then you are able to be that hero who then impacts and brings up children with values and with pro proper ethics. It's interesting to note that according to some customs, when we say the Shalom Aleichem, when we greet the angels on Friday night, we begin and say Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet. Welcome, O you ministering angels. But after we welcome the ministering angels, we say, bless us, Malachi HaShalom. We no longer refer to them as the ministering angels. We refer to them as the angels of peace. Why is that? Because the function of the angels is to come to a Jewish home every Friday night and to be able to see how we conduct ourselves. The harmony, the peace, the tranquility, the love and the respect that a husband has for his wife and a wife has for his husband, the children have for the parents, the parents have for the children. If you are able to create an environment of peace, of tranquility, of love and respect, then the ministering angels of God are no longer ministering angels, but you in fact transfer them, trans, transfer them to become the, 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 the angels of peace, the angels of blessing that will bless and bestow your, your home with blessings. This is, in my opinion, the fourth hero of Hanukkah, the greatest hero of Hanukkah. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, shalom and keep well. Please visit our website to be able to see other interesting topics. Jewish TV dot media.